Okay, um, you might have just seen me do the Wii U controller, and now I'm on to the Dreamcast. So in this video we're going to be putting Polyfuse, a rechargeable lithium battery and battery holder into the Dreamcast. First off, what we're going to do is open it, take off the modem and take the four screws out. Four out, flip it round, four screws fall out. Dreamcast are very easy to like, open. Just be careful with the tiny switch on this side. You don't want to break this off. Right, so what we've got here from the last video is we've got the fuse. Okay, so you can see that there. And this time we're going to have to put the soldering iron on because we're going to have to remove some solder points. Okay, what you need to do on this one is remove the fan clip, remove your four screws, and because it's a Japanese one, you don't have to remove the power supply because you've got enough room in here. Remove the ribbon cable, but be careful of it. Ribbon cable removed. Right then, that's the last screw out. Put the screws aside actually. Wiggle it backwards while all the screws are out. It will come out. There you go. That's board out. Um, you might have noticed this is an original edition Dreamcast. Original editions, like the first Japanese run of them, had this metal fan with heat pipes down to two of the um, chips inside. Bit of Dreamcast history for you there. Right then, as normal when you're doing soldering, start with a good flux. These are the solder parts what we've got to do. Just dab some flux on there. This is some cheap flux what I've got. I'll leave a link to it in the description as always. Right, pretty hot soldering iron. Yeah, and desolder pump here. Get ready to solder pump. No, it's solder. Gone. Solder. And off. And off. Using the flux stops the board from burning up, which is good. As you can see, they've pretty much cleared out the whole thing. The part of wire out now. My camera's in the way of my own hand, can't believe it. And that's the wire out. So now to get the poly fuse in. Okay, here we go with the fuses. Because it's a fuse, it can kind of go in either way. Okay, so we've got polyfuse out and um take the board over now. There's a lot of guides on the internet to say do this with um, like a resistor or anything, but don't do that apparently because that's not the right way to do it. 
So slide these down and it should go in quite once fuses in, bend the legs slightly. As you can see, the legs go in pretty well. But first we want to change the battery as well, so we're going to snip off those battery tags first. Right, so just snip this off. Mm -hmm. He better have a nice pair of pliers. Mm. All this junk shit while he is. Twist it. There you go. Poor battery is now off. Now you've got three dot solder points, so let's give him a flux. Okay, so I've applied flux both sides of the um, pads. I'm just going to get rid of them. Okay, that's one. Now we've got Sunny Beach on TV. Sunny Beach in Bulgaria. <laughs> This one's been a sod, it might come off. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to do to set that battery out because this one, we can spot it here. Okay, this was very hard to get out because when I clipped them off, these two come out okay. This one would not come out. I don't know if it got damaged or it just wouldn't pull through. You can see through the other side of this. Here it is here, burned up. The other two come out pretty easy. This one I've been working on to try to get out. But it still connects. Terminates here, luckily. On the burn mark. So one, two. If we test that. You hear the beep? Luckily it left a little tiny bit on this side so I'll be able to solder to it. Almost messed it up. Okay, so then you get your new battery thing and put it on the three spaces. This is the plus line. See it's got the plus there, we've got the two holes. The minus lines behind. Wobble that in. And there you go. Just solder them in and solder the fuse in. We'll do that now whilst it's on cam. Right, bend those round. That should sit flush. These ones. Just about got enough pin for each one of these. Two, three, right. Right, a bit more flux. Always overuse the flux because it may help so much.
It comes with your own. Right, this is pretty good. There you go. And then put this on here. Oh, if you wonder what's on TV, it's Rude Tube. Let's drop straight through. Right. And then... Then, 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 here we go. Done. Right. If you notice, the solder has poured through in that one. And a little bit more on this one. Okay, and there we go. That's soldered on now. Just going to get this little bit of um, solder off here. There we go. And then a little bit more solder. Right. And that is done. Now you put the battery, what we got for it, which is here. Two text, let me just open these. Okay, this is an LR. 2032 battery and you can see the plus sign and when you get one of these you can see the plus sign is on this side so you just then slot battery this way in to the holder so there you go now there's a battery on your Dreamcast again it's also a rechargeable LR32, LR2032, should I say. And it's got to be a rechargeable one because if you put a normal coin cell in it and it tries to charge it, it'd probably blow it, causing more problems than it's worth. Okay, so now we just need to put this back together. The fuse is in. The battery's in. I'm going to put this into back into the Dreamcast. And um, test it out. Okay, just move that away, pop this back in. I'd say with Japanese ones, you don't have to take the power board out. Or this first one, at least, you don't. Okay, the um, thing is in. Pop the top. Pop that on there. Straight down, put the screws in, and give it a test. Okay, so the Dreamcast is plugged in, plugged up to power, the TV is on, and we've got the new fuse and the new battery in. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
question is, will the pad work? Da -da. The pad indeed works. Now let's just set the time on this. What's today's date? 24th of February 1212. 12. Oh, January, February. 24th, 2017. Eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, twelve, thirteen. Now select. There we go. Settings English 24 February 2017 12 12 speaker sound Scott. Give it a few minutes to run and then we'll see if we turn it off and we get it back on. Okay, we've got the um, Dreamcast here and um, it's been on for a few minutes now, so it should have been charging the battery. Um, it's been on the screen there. You see, second 24 017 uh, 12 19. Okay, let's just turn this off. Keep it off for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Turn back on. Let's see if it's kept the date. There we go, 22nd, 2407, 1219. So the battery's working inside, it's charged up. You don't have to keep setting time every time you turn it on now. And it's back to like it was in the old days, apart from being yellow. Okay, then I've waited for ages, and it's night time the next day at 1203. 04, something like that, what is the time? 1235 actually. So when we turn this on, let's see if it's kept the time up. There we go. 12.35. Second. Oh, 25th second. Okay, so we can say the battery is working and everything's fixed. Okay, and that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Join me again on the next one where we'll be doing some retro bright homemade for this console to see if it actually works. Thanks for watching this one and goodbye for now.